Beach. February 25, 1956. The Cold War. When Stalin died in 1953, it was hoped that the terror and fear of his regime would come to an end in the Soviet Union. The thaw had begun. In February 1956, Nikita Khrushchev, now the new leader of the USSR, delivered a secret speech to the 20th Congress of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. It was secret because it was to be delivered to an unpublicized closed session of Communist Party delegates with no press. In the speech, he outlined his desire to return to the times before Stalin, during the time of the Bolsheviks and Lenin. Khrushchev would criticize Stalin as a leader who had led the country and its communist goals astray. This would distance Stalin from the party and improve foreign relations. In the speech, he mentioned Lenin's criticism of Stalin's behavior, the terror and fear of Stalin's regime with Beria and the NKVD, which saw mass arrests of people and purges of party members and purges in the army that Stalin's cult of personality alongside his paranoia made him dangerously powerful and that he constantly ignored or overruled the collective leadership. Stalin's management of the Great Patriotic War was denounced as incompetent, and Khrushchev stated that Stalin had overplayed his role as a hero, and his deportations of anti-Soviet ethnic minorities as a violation of Leninist principles. With this speech, he aimed to remove the godlike status and cult of personality that Stalin had created around himself and Stalinism. This was a huge shock to the audience, and the silence was deafening for the four hours of the speech. They had been brought up to never criticize Stalin, as to do so would see them arrested and sent to the gulags. No questions or debate would follow. Of course, Khrushchev himself was not entirely innocent. He had participated in some of Stalin's purges in the 30s. In the speech, he missed out all the purges that had taken place that enabled himself to reach his position of power. In the speech, he also left out Stalin's industrialization policies and the purges of kulaks to ensure continued confidence in collectivization and industrialization. Even though the speech was to be a secret, it made its way out in March and was already being printed and read at thousands of party meetings. Eastern European delegates were also able to hear or read it. The desire for the end to Stalinist-style rule in the Soviet Union, conveyed in the speech and Khrushchev's peaceful coexistence theory, created a temporary thaw between the U.S. and the USSR. In the same year, the secret speech contributed to the unrest in the Soviet satellite states of Poland and Hungary, who saw it as a sign for big reforms. These were crushed by Khrushchev with military force which was a choice that was Stalinist in style. Subscribe for more history videos. Get Simple History, the Cold War, out today. Hey, Simple History fans. If you're looking for a better way to support the channel and help us create more epic content, consider becoming a member on our channel. Becoming a member means that for just five bucks a month, you'll get these amazing perks. You'll be the first to see new episodes with early access. You can watch new episodes before anyone else with this perk. The Enlisted Badge, a custom icon that shows alongside your username in the comments section and in live chat. As a member, you'll become an influencer with member-only comments. You can communicate directly with us and help us pick the topics that we'll do next on Simple History. And remember, it's not mandatory to become a member. Our awesome videos will continue to be uploaded as usual.